Jin Dobri Cheshna Low. Today, guys, I wanted to make a video called Five American Habits that I think that Polish people wouldn't really understand because in my previous video, Five Polish Habits that I think Americans wouldn't understand, this is pretty much the vice versa of that because you guys requested this video. So, anyways, guys, let's just get started. So, the first one is talking to strangers and also smiling slash smirking. So, in a lot of cases, if you're walking, wherever or seeing or looking at whoever in a lot of cases it's kind of polite to smile or at least if you're gonna stare at them like give a smirk of some kind and this isn't like a flirty thing at all this is more of just a thing that's very polite to do and it's just a friendly way of saying hi actually but yeah it's definitely more of an american thing because you guys have told me that if you smile to a random stranger in poland they definitely think either you like them or you know you're being creepy or something like that like it's either or but in the u.s it's not the case it's more of you know you're just being friendly and also going along with that with being friendly is that it's very friendly to talk to random strangers and if you are out like in the west when i was out in montana and idaho recently if i drove by someone that was walking on the road or running or biking or whatever they would all wave every single time hands down you wave to them they wave back and it's just a friendly way of saying hello they're just very friendly out there here in the east coast we have a reputation for being rude and mean and that's definitely true i feel like kind of in the new york you know to massachusetts range but you know this isn't really the case everywhere but you know definitely in the u.s a lot of people will talk to random strangers like if you're just in a store grocery store or in a line like a queue you know sometimes you'll just talk to whoever you're standing next to and like it's okay or you can just ask them a random question and it's just something that i think polish people just don't understand about the u.s and a lot of polish people i think would be afraid or you know they would feel definitely weird to talk to a random stranger so the next one is driving everywhere and a lot of people will comment basically saying you know why do americans have to drive everywhere and that's pretty much just because everything is built for driving and i'm also going to extend onto this with drive throughs but first i wanted to talk about you know every single place is just designed to drive to sidewalks are pretty much rare here in a lot of cases and you know if there are sidewalks it's still just not really popular even if it's a couple miles away like no one's gonna gonna walk that distance at all it's just much more convenient to drive yes this also attributes to our obesity i definitely agree with that going along with that is drive throughs i mean there's drive throughs for liquor stores um every single food store or fast food you can definitely think of and now because of the pandemic it's very popular to do curbside pickup with grocery stores so someone in the store like an employee in the store will you know buy whatever you ordered on the app for let's just say walmart basically you go on there you pick the items that you want in the store next thing you know the person buys and purchases all those things and basically bags them themselves and then you pull your car up and then they pretty much load it into the car i guess you could say that's also a drive through as well now so yeah um it's definitely an american thing and i feel like a lot of polish people just don't really understand it but it mostly has to deal with that our cities are designed for driving and also the distances are large okay i mean poland can fit in the size of new mexico okay poland is extremely extremely small and in a lot of cases people will drive just to see their family members many polands away okay many states away they will drive those distances and it's just not popular at all to not have a car here it's just something you have to have in the u.s if you're living in like a big city you can get away with not having a car and honestly if i was living in a big city i wouldn't yeah i mean if you want to see your family members or drive out somewhere it, you just have to have a car here you're not going to take a bus you're not going to take public transport okay it's just is basically non-existent here so yeah it's just something that i think polish people just wouldn't really understand about the u.s all right so the next one i can feel some people's blood pressure rising because that is blocking the left lane of highways so this is really popular here i don't know why okay some of these uh, you know i'm not even going to understand myself okay i'm going to be with you guys i don't know why it's a thing i think this should be enforced and people should get fines for you know being in the left lane and not passing anyone instead of moving over into the right lane um where you're you're not going to pass anyone basically this is how this starts okay so basically if there are two 18 wheelers on the road 
most of the time they're pretty much going the exact same speed and if that's not already infuriating to a lot of people when they're going the same speed i absolutely lose my mind but then what happens is a lot of people will then move over and just sit right behind the truck and because of this a lot of people will just move over and pretty much get in line behind this truck and they'll just sit there so there's that type and then there's also a type that where it's just two cars that are passing each other but a lot of people will just sit in this lane because they just want to cruise at like 80 or something miles per hour but then there's a lot of people in the left lane as well that will just cruise behind them because they just want to keep passing cars and then there's the other type that will just sit in the left lane when there is no one even around in the entire proximity or area i mean you can just be driving on the highway and then you come up on someone that's sitting in the left lane and there is no one on the right side of the lane like or anyone in front of them or behind them anywhere so yeah it's just something that honestly i hate and so yeah i've sent my girlfriend so many videos of just sitting on the highway and just watching a entire car pile up because it happens to make everyone slow if someone wants to get around fast it's just not going to happen because every lane is pretty much stuck and basically i'll just film it and everyone will just sit there police will not write you a ticket for it and i've even seen police do it as well so yeah it's just something i hate i I want to move on to the next uh, topic here because it honestly pisses me off so much. All right, so the next one is food portions. And yes, Americans eat a ton of food. And it's kind of like this black hole effect because the more, like the bigger you get, the more food you have to eat because your stomach expands, your whole body expands. And because of that, your body requires more calories every single day just to have a baseline of total calories that it needs to function. So yeah, it's like the more you eat, the more you have to eat. And that's how it turns into for a lot of people and i mean as some of you guys have seen there are a lot of big people here and it gets to the point where people are waddling just to walk and i feel so bad for them and like their joints in and their heart because it has to pump that much blood as well as people in like grocery stores like walmart that will sit on carts that you know have to drive for them because they are so large they can't even walk around the store at all so originally it was meant for handicapped people like people who broke their legs and you know very old people all of that and then they can just waddle their way into the store sit on the chair and then drive their way through the store and buy whatever their hearts content and actually all in high school i worked at a grocery store and a couple of times there would be some people that were on carts and they would take up i'm not even kidding the entire aisle i would have to walk out of the aisle if i was stocking the shelves and just so they could drive their way through the aisle because it was too skinny and this is american aisles by the way which are way bigger than polish aisles which are claustrophobic feeling compared to them it's definitely sad a lot of people are dying to this as well it's also not just a thing in the u.s though as some people may believe i mean the uk is getting pretty big as well and i feel like trends like mukbangs which are very popular even amongst big people as well as you know like um, body positivity trends are probably not the best solutions for people who are big instead i mean i think it should be promoted to eat a healthy diet and to be healthy because i mean most of these people are just not leading that type of lifestyle at all so just let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i'm kind of curious as what you guys think about that so the last one on my list today is shooting guns so i feel like a lot of polish people don't really understand this about american culture just owning guns in general but now especially it is very popular i feel like it's just growing and growing especially because of the current events happening in the u.s I know a lot of people that are just buying guns and yeah, it's definitely a popular thing and it's honestly just getting more and more popular right now. I mean, honestly, this is just embedded into the second amendment of the U S and a lot of Americans are definitely proud of owning and shooting guns as well as hunting as well. Uh, going into the fall time, like I think November is pretty much the start of turkey hunting as well as deer hunting and yeah it's just definitely a very popular thing to do and i feel like polish people just don't really understand this one especially um but yeah it's just definitely a part of american culture and tradition i guess you could say all right guys so that was pretty much it for this video and i want to thank you so much for watching and that was the five american habits that i think polish people don't really understand and if you have any more then let me know in the comment section down below i would love to hear from you guys so that's gonna be it for this video guys and i will see you in the next one jinkwee w tenya